Hello, you guys. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network. Thank you so much for being here as always, you guys. And we're going to get into another reading, okay? I kind of got a little bit of a channel message. And it's very interesting because this came up uh, in one of the members weekly one on not weekly one on one in the members weekly reading members. Y'all will probably remember this like maybe a month or so ago and we were talking about it, but I put it on the title of the weekly and it was what Glorilla said, right? <laughs> At the end of the day, the day got to end. Okay. At the end of the day, the day gone end. And that is my channel message for y'all, Pisces. Interestingly enough, I also got a coinciding message once I thought about it. And I'm like, okay, Spirit, is this what you want me to talk to Pisces about? Ooh, and completion. <gasps> Look at that as I'm splitting the deck. It says completion and then you have don't take the bait. So Spirit really does not want you to take the bait in a situation where somebody's trying to bait you into not ending a cycle either with yourself or with them. The the, the completion is going to come because if you turn it around, you're not going to take the bait. 11 and 33 could be significant, but you're not going to take the bait and something is going to be completed. But I also got that coinciding message where I was like, okay, this is the message for Pisces, right? Okay. Confirmed at the end of the day, the day got to end. But I also got the message when it's all said and done, Everything that's done will be said. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, it's like, yes, at the end of the day, today got to end. So something has to come to an end. There's a cycle that has to come to a close. There's something that cannot be stopped when it comes to completion. Okay. And when it's all said and done and that cycle comes to completion, everything that has been done will be said. Ooh wee Pisces okay ooh wee we about to get into it y'all be sure to like the video be sure to subscribe you guys engage with the content share the video with someone who you think might need to hear it whether they are a Pisces or not I felt like I had some hair there you go I felt like I had some hair on my arm Share the video, engage with the content, you guys. Put a brain in the comments if it's resonating. Also, if you would like to help out right now and donate to the building fund, the GoFundMe is in the description box below. Our beautiful May has created it for us. And thank you to everyone who has been supporting. I'm trying to get up out of the thumb of tyranny. Get out from under that bitch, okay? Because it's very complicated right now, but it's not that complicated. I just need you guys support if you can. Don't feel obligated. If you can't, just engage with the content. That is a great way to help. And it's no offense, no disrespect, but if you are not engaging with the content, you're not liking the videos, you're not subscribing, you're not engaging in the comments or sharing the video, or you have not donated in some way, shape, or form to the channel, the message don't apply to you, baby. And it's nothing against you. I'm just protecting my energy for those who are giving equal reciprocity, okay? And if you can't donate, don't feel bad. Just engage. That's all I ask, okay? But we're going to get into it. At the end of the day, the day got to end. And when it's all said and done, everything that's been done will be said. Let us see. For Pisces, guardian angels. I'm excited. Archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors of the highest vibration. Father, Mother, God, when it comes to this channel message, at the end of the day, the day got to end. And when it's all said and done, everything done will be said. What is this message that you have for Pisces today? Spirit. Royalty. Ooh, so you deserve to be treated a certain way and you know it. Card number 16. And Siri is over here listening like the funky ass bitch she is. Goodness gracious. I can't do nothing without folks trying to be all up in my mouth darkness and conflict Ooh. all right so whatever this conflict is that somebody might be trying to bring to your doorstep or that you may be going through right now spirit is saying that you have to fall back on or what what you should try to do is fall back on the way that you know you deserve to be treated and if you know that you've been putting good into the world you got to be secure and confident in the fact that you are going to receive good back. And if you haven't been doing 
the right thing, then you know what's going to happen. But if you have, it's like, it's, it's basically like a mindset, a royalty mindset to where you know how you should be treated. And if you're not being treated that way, it's like, it, it doesn't even have to be said. What's, what's understood don't have to be explained because spirit is going to naturally balance that out. There is a situation where you can't really see where you're going or it's kind of like blurred in your vision or there's some type of insecurity that you could be facing because of the fact that you don't see necessarily what's coming. But I feel like there's definitely something coming that you don't see that you shouldn't have to worry about. Trust yourself. When you go through these conflicts, don't try to make a situation be something that it's not, whether it's a positive or a negative, just follow your intuition. There's a lot going on beneath the surface, a lot that you do not see. Wow. What else for Pisces? Ooh, child, this deception card, card number 25. That's a seven. These two sevens, 16 and 25. So 77, soul family, 32, temptation. Your spirit team is really trying to help guide you away from some type of temptation to, I think, fall into a trap of what you believe. I feel like your spirit team is trying to guide you away from lying to yourself, deceiving yourself, seeing the surface and thinking that's all that it is. It's like, they're trying to get you to see, Hey, there's, there's, there's stuff that we're working on. There's stuff that's going down that we're handling on your behalf. Okay. So just remember who you are and allow that to guide you while you're kind of walking through this darkness. So that you continue to hold your head up high and treat yourself the way that you know you, you're supposed to be treated. So that you can bring more of that energy into your life. What else? Ooh, swim away, child. Card number two. Hmm. Yeah, so people who are trying to deceive you, they're being pushed away from you. There's an energy of a person who's trying to cause conflict. Or create negativity in your life. And your spirit team is pushing them away from you. I feel like there's a few people. And I'm kind of seeing this shark as like one of your spirit guides. Or one of your protectors, guardians. And I feel like they're guarding this area. And it looks like, look, doesn't it look like the eyes are the shark? And then the shark comes out and bites you. When you get warnings, heed those warnings. When something tells you don't do something, don't go somewhere, listen. Definitely important on that one. But I feel like you're in this place of royalty and it's like you have guards outside of your, you know, boundaries, your protective barriers. You have guards in the spirit realm who are kind of like circling you. Okay, because I'm seeing this circle now come into it and they're protecting you. And as soon as somebody try to come up to you or come towards you energetically, like on some BS, the guard dogs start barking. Okay, and there's completion. Look, and don't take the bait. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all, when this stuff happens, it be tripping me out. That's what I'm saying. So something's got to end at the end of the day. The day got to end. And when it's all said and done, everything that's done will be said. I also feel like somebody has like, uh, what's that, uh, what's that rope that Wonder Woman tied around the people, the truth rope, the golden truth rope. Somebody's going to be telling the truth. They're going to be like word vomiting the truth. And they're not going to have a choice in the matter. This is a cycle coming to an end of you not receiving what you deserve. This is a cycle coming in to where you're going to finally like receive the things that you deserve to receive and have the things that you are meant to have. And the people who don't mean you well, they're leaving your life. 
They're leaving your life, Pisces. What deck? I want to use this deck. It's like all of this riffraff that you've been dealing with is over. The deception, the lies, they have to end. The attacks, the negativity, they have to end. All of that stuff has to end. So if somebody is trying to bring you back into that fold of darkness, Spirit is saying don't allow yourself to go there because it's like even if you are in a place of darkness or you are confused or you don't really see clearly where you need to go, it's like your personal power is what creates the light. Your personal power is what shines and lights your way forward along with your spirit team. It's like your own glow. That's all you need to focus on. And I know it's hard, y'all. I'm 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 transitioning just like you guys. Every time y'all transition, I transition too. And then we get raised to a, a new elevation, so you're definitely not alone, and neither am I. What else does Pisces need to know when it comes to these messages? Dark High Priestess, get the fuck out of here. In love and secret children or child. What? Somebody could be doing a love spell on you or a love spell on somebody else. Some of you guys, this could even be a sibling doing this to you. <sighs> but yeah, someone is in love with someone and they're trying to control that person. That could be what's going on. And there might be a secret child involved or a secret children or there's like a new situation some of you could be approaching a person whether you know them or not they could be approaching you you guys could be about to cross paths and it's going to be a very loving situation some of you may have children that you don't know about coming in the future and there could be somebody who's trying to stop it what else what else does Pisces need to know when it comes to these messages kissing what yeah, something is getting closer and closer. Whether it's a relationship, a child, or a personal endeavor, something is getting closer and closer to coming to fruition. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Wow, divine masculine and makeup. Wow. So some of you could be the divine masculine. Some of you could be meeting this divine masculine or dealing with the, this divine masculine. It could be a, a reconciliation, possibly. Some of you could be reconciling with a person and they have some riffraff going on with this dark high priestess. While you guys have been apart, they may have had another child that you don't know about. Or you may have had a child that they don't know about. Take it how it resonates. What else for Pisces when it comes to these messages? What else does Pisces need to know? <gasps> Wedding, stop. Why are all the readings turning into love readings, Pisces? What the hell y'all been doing? What y'all been doing? While I've been slightly gone. What have y'all been doing? Getting into some things. Okay, we have wedding. Wow, sister. Some of you guys could have a sister that's getting married. Wow, we have clingy. Interesting. Some of you guys may have a sister that's getting married. This could affect the dynamic between you and your sister. Or you could be getting married and this could be affecting that dynamic between the two of you. This could even be a friend, somebody who you see as a sister. There's somebody who you're really close to, okay? And they're either getting married or you are, or there's some type of partnership. 
it doesn't have to be a wedding specifically it could be even because a wedding could represent like a business partnership too contract coming together some of you are getting really close to meeting the person who you're meant to marry i'm getting a lot of messages y'all Mm. What else does Pisces need to know? Ooh, Divine Feminine. Look at that. Interesting. And we saw Divine Masculine too. That is very interesting. Ritual. Oh my God. And BDSM. So somebody's trying to control a situation. I don't know who's doing what. Somebody could be trying to control you or the other person. Both of y'all could be being susceptible to people trying to control you in a situation or control your situation this is just what happens to the divine masculine divine feminine energy like because you have such potent energetic magnetism y'all have a lot of people who come into your life and just want to take possession of you like you're an object but you're not Yep, high priestess, gifted, ritual. Mm. Somebody may be trying to block your gifts or they may be trying to block another person from being able to see you for who you truly are. This could be friends or family members. You could be coming in contact with the person who you're meant to be with, but they have a sibling or an ex or somebody who's trying to like control the situation or... They're just way too clingy, way too attached. Somebody's trying to control another person's thoughts. And I feel like it could be happening on both sides. <sighs> but I feel like every single time it's something I was just thinking, it's like it's something about it. To where, sorry, I'm reaching over y'all, but I'm finna get this dick. It's just something about it. Like, every single time someone tries to control the situation, it's like you break free or this other person breaks free. If you're making up with somebody, it could have been a very tumultuous situation between the two of you because you may have had a lot of people pulling on y'all's energy. And it kind of feels like even though... There may be separate. It's it's like whatever this connection is, is real strong. You and another person are really connected spiritually, like you're so, on a soul level. And it's like every time y'all break apart, you always end up coming back together and you always end up finding a way back to each other, even if it's throughout different lifetimes. And I'm not sure why I'm getting this message, but... Everything that's been done is going to be said. Every Once it's all said and done, everything that's been done will be said. So it's like there's going to be a point where you connect with this person and y'all are going to have a conversation and y'all are going to talk about everything that's been done. And it's just going to feel like you're talking to yourself because the same thing that they've been going through with people trying to control them is going to be the same thing that you've been kind of going through with people trying to control you. And it just feels like no matter how hard these low vibrational energies, dark high priestess, dark high priest, it doesn't matter. No matter how hard these low vibrational energies, these possessive, obsessive, dark energies try to keep you all apart, you still find each other. You still manage to come back together. And it's like over, over lifetimes, over timelines, like y'all just, it, it's just something that you can't. You can't change that. And whoever keeps trying to change it, it's like they know that it's because of the fact that if y'all ever get the chance to actually bond, like be combined. Then it's going to change the world. And it's like, mm, I don't know. Some of y'all may be meant to have a child with a person and that child is going to change the world. And that's why people try to stop you. From doing it, you know, 
like they try to delay you so that you're too old to have kids or they try to like, you know, <clears throat> basically maybe, maybe it could be somebody from your past who you already have children with. And then by the time you meet this person, you don't want to have any more kids. Like it's like that type of stuff or just keeping you guys apart in general. Mm. Okay, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, no one win. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. What is this deception? What is this deception? Six of Pentacles. Somebody's lying about like. Oh, what is this? The sun at the bottom. There's somebody who's lying about their desire to give to you or something that they're giving to you. They're acting like they're happy to do it. They're not happy to do it. Something that they're doing for you. They hate the fact that they have to do it for you. Every time somebody gives to you is for an ulterior motive It's to sabotage you in some way. Every time something good happens to you, you can see it on this person's face that they mad. It's like somebody who's giving to you or they have to give to you or they have to support you or they're, you know, doing something and, and saying that they're doing it to help you or I don't know. It's they don't want to do it, though. It's kind of like a person who is claiming that they support you, but they hate the fact like they're I don't know what the fuck. What's the six of Pentacles with this deception? Why? Two of Cups. Queen of Swords. Because you don't... <laughs> you don't really give them any energy. So they're upset that you see clearly who they are. Whoever this person is, they're either an ex, a fake friend, or maybe a family member, a sibling or something who you don't really fuck with like that. Whoever this person is, they're upset that you don't communicate with them it's like when you communicate with them you're very straightforward you're very direct you don't beat around the bush you're not doing any pleasantries you like what the fuck do you want let's handle it okay it's done goodbye get the fuck out my face get off my line like it's very short you're very short with this person you don't talk to this person a lot or you hold back communication you have kind of changed You, you've changed the way that you communicate with this person and you don't give them as much energy. So it's like when they do give you time, when they do give you energy, when they do contribute to whatever you have going on, when they talk to you about their life or whatever this is going on, they really don't want to help you, but they're faking like they want to help you because they have bad intentions. This is not someone who protects you. This is not someone who is your friend. This is not someone who loves you or supports you in in, in kind heartedness or in in genuine what is it what it what? in earnest you know how when people say in earnest it's like they're not doing it for a good reason they're doing it for their own ulterior motives we'll swim away so you may have separated from this person yeah two of swords oh excuse me page of swords and the ten of pentacles You were already very cautious of this person. And then you realized that you had to go on ahead and get away from them. Cause I feel like you're going through a transition and it's something about this person's energy that your intuition was telling you not to continue to be their friend or not to continue to hang out with them or talk to them or something like that. Cause you're trying to protect. It's like, you're trying to protect your money. You're trying to protect your future. And somebody is trying to prevent you from having that. Or it's like, they don't want to see you have that type of stuff. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Who somebody was showing you an illusion. And you didn't see it. Eight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. 
this person only wanted to be friends with you for what they could get from you. I don't know if this is like a, a an old friend. They caused some type of confusion with your finances, with your career as well. Like it's something that happened with this person. They might only be like a clout chaser, gold digger type of energy. And at night, this person worries that you're moving on or you're communicating with other people or I don't know. It's like they're worried about where you're going and what you're doing instead of worrying about themselves. Because there's something here about them wanting to be friends with you because of what you do for work or them wanting to date you because of what you do for work. Who you are. Maybe the people you attract. This type of energy keeps coming up. Okay. Okay. What's this dark high priestess star card? Ooh. And it goes right on top of the royalty. Somebody is hoping to like affect your influence or your, maybe they want to stop you from healing. Cause they know if you heal, you're going to move on. Maybe they want to affect your image and how people view you. Some of them want to affect your like power, your influence. And you were very loving to this person. Like you were very loving and nurturing and giving to this person. <clears throat> but you realized, yeah, you realized that this person, when you decided that you needed to go in a different direction, this person had a problem with it. And it, that's what caused the illusion to fall because you saw how much they were trying to like fuck up your growth but you still grow anyway. And it's like, it's got this person confused because they're still watching you, trying to figure out how you're still growing, how you're still moving forward anyway. And now it's even more clear that this person tried to sabotage you and the cycle came to an end. And now things are going to move forward even quick, more quickly. So if anybody tried to do any type of spell work on you or do any type of manipulation in your mind... It's not going to work. Didn't work. Still ain't working. What's the star with this dark high priestess? Ooh, king of pentacles reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody just didn't want you to have. I don't know. Maybe they didn't want you to meet this king of pentacles. Maybe they uh, high priestess in the ace of pentacles. Maybe they wanted to take this opportunity from you. It, it's like somebody just wanted to slow you down. From whatever that you were about to get yourself into or for, for whatever you're getting yourself into. This person is disappointed that they can't have access to your life. And they constantly, I feel like this person constantly does things. Yeah, and there's the nine of swords at the bottom again. <sighs> this person constantly does things to try to hold you back somehow. They may even be saying that they don't want to talk to you, but they really do. They may they may be acting like they don't have time to talk to you. They really just kind of have a secret animosity. That's what it feels like to me. Yeah, they may be competing with you or see you as competition. This could even be a family member, though. I'm feeling like strong family or friends. They may have tried to, like, introduce you to, like, fucked up ass people to get you on off the path of, like, your divine counterpart. It feels like a friend or somebody you thought was your friend. What does Pisces need to know about this situation? Why is this coming up? Page of Cups. Yep. See what I'm saying? So it's definitely a friend or you're about to meet someone. Yep. Hierophant. Somebody might be about to offer you commitment. This person is about to find out about this. <laughs> I feel like some of you, this person wanted you to like be with some broke ass bitch or some broke ass nigga. Ooh, let me... It's, get, it's just slipping out, y'all. Taurus energy very strongly with the Hierophant and the 
um, Emperor, possibly Aries as well. I'm getting Taurus and Aries. Didn't we just have a reading with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor too? And even if they do try to, it's like, even if they're not trying to stop you in your relationship, they may be trying to stop your cash flow. And it's like, you're consistently creating new ideas anyway, because you have a, like your spirit, you're young at heart. You have a young, excited spirit. It's like, you're consistently bossing up no matter what, but I feel like you're about to meet somebody too. This uh, person could be very controlling as well. I'm just getting Taurus and Aries. Possibly Libra. What else? Ace of Pentacles. Yep. Or this is an opportunity coming in. You're getting a big opportunity. You're meeting somebody that's going to open up a door. Eight of Swords and the Hangman. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. This friend has tried to cut off your opportunity. This fake friend or this ex-friend or whoever the fuck. They're trying to cut off your opportunity. They're trying to keep you in bondage. You Look at how this looks. And then look at how this looks. You see what I'm saying? Then she got a rope around her ankle. Come on with the bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Like, it be, it be pissing me off, y'all. Like... They want to tie you up with all these ropes. They may have some of your hair. I just heard that. They they may be doing rituals with your hair. I don't know what the fuck, but it feels extra. They may have some of your hair. They may have some of your clothes. It's like it's like whatever they whatever you could think of that could be like a rope. I don't know. I don't know what it is. They may have an old keychain. I don't fucking know. But it's like something is like, oh, oh, you're not scared to do this. You're not scared to do that. No, bitch. Are you like that's it's like somebody tried to put you in a mindset of fear so that you would hesitate. What about if this? What about if that? What? What? What about if you shut the fuck up? How about that? What else? Y'all, I ain't got time for these energies. And it's like, you got a boundary. I feel like you got a boundary up with this person. Somebody could have also been trying to tarnish your character, talking shit about you behind your back. What else for Pisces? What else? the lovers Ooh, you about to meet somebody y'all i'm telling you this might not even be a love interest this could just be a friend that you are meeting like a new friend that is gonna help expose you to better opportunities to more um just excitement and experiences in your life that you haven't had and it's like this type of person was exposing you to people that was beneath you or they were exposed you had you around motherfuckers that was trying to take from you Cause that's their energy. And I feel like you cut this person off. They may be calling you or texting you or reaching out to you, maybe inviting you to something or saying where, where, you, where have you been? When they talk to you, they're lying to you. It's like, whatever they communicate with you, it's like a lie. It's not whatever they are trying to say on the surface. You got to read between the lines. Okay. Six of Pentacles. So you're, you're receiving a gift or you are just gifted. So that's why these opportunities are opening up. You could be meeting a water sign, possibly could be a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could be maybe a Gemini, strong Taurus though, strong Aries, <clears throat> or this is just signs in your chart, their chart, whatever. You're receiving something though. And it's going to be a lot like this is going to be a shocking, fast, abrupt change. Things are going to start moving forward and you're going to have to control your motherfucking anxiety and keep that shit together so that you can focus and separate your emotions from whatever that has been done and said to try to like psych you out in your mind. That spirit's way of bringing in this blessing for you with this temperance. Yup, And that two of swords. Even though you didn't see 
what was going on. You could feel that it was an illusion and you got a warning to get away from this person. That's what I feel. Or even though you might not have seen what was going on, your spirit team is protecting you. Some of you maybe even uh, said a prayer to X, you know, source, God, universe, whoever you pray to, to like help expose those people who are trying to hide in the shadows and cause conflict in your life. It feels like a prayer. What's the page of cups? Or you you at you said a prayer to like to reveal to you what you what needed to be revealed. Page of swords. Yeah, somebody is curious about you. They want to know more about who you are. Justice and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, and you're meeting these people because you're supposed to. It's like, it's already been long enough. What's the page? Of okay. Wow, six of cups. Somebody from the past. There, there could be somebody coming back from the past for some of you guys, or it's a past life. Or you're remembering and thinking about different situations that have happened between you and this old ex-friend or somebody. And it's like, what you couldn't see before, it's like you're starting to understand it now. I feel like a lot is going on at the same time because you're getting closer to these opportunities, okay? Page of Wands, all these pages. Somebody's immature. Or you may have been immature or this could have been a childhood friend or it could have been a sibling or it could be somebody who just watches you all the time. Take it how it resonates. Could be any of those things, all of those things together. But there's definitely conflict. This person has been trying to compete with you. They've been trying to compete with you this whole time. Trying to win or compete in some way. But it's like, how the fuck you going to compete when you don't compare, bitch? That's what I'm saying. Let me calm down. It's like you could have said a lot of shit to this. Let me stop. You could have said so many things to this person about themselves, but you chose to keep it together, keep your composure. I feel like this person had you in fucked up situations and, and you might have thought that you was the one, you might have thought that you were the person who was doing wrong, but it was actually their influence over you in some way, shape or form to get you to like question your decisions or like be in an altered state of mind or something like that. They doing something with this ritual BDSM and this high dark high priestess. What's this uh, ace of pentacles? 10 of pentacles. What's the ace of pentacles? Not a wand. So somebody's coming towards you with an offer that I feel is going to be hard to refuse. I feel like somebody wants to make a long-term investment in you. And I don't know who it is, but it's because you stand out. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possible Taurus, maybe even Virgo, Capricorn. But somebody's coming towards you with either a large sum of money, a big offer for a job that's going to be very lucrative, or some type of exposure. Like, it may about this bullshit right here let me y'all seen the shift y'all seen the cards change on the table let me tell you something about this bullshit right here okay first i'm gonna take my goddamn thumbnail like i was like i said i was gonna take y'all know i'm pissed off now y'all know i'm pissed off because i done sat here and did this whole motherfucking reading i done sat here and get read all these cards somebody got a stinking ass raggedy ass I, and i'm gonna call it out somebody got a stinking ass raggedy do you see this Kissing, they they close together in the face. In love, they close together in the face. Wedding, they close together. This is a bond that cannot be broken. That some raggedy bitch, male or female, is trying to break. And I'm not trying to come at y'all all of a sudden with this energy. But I just sat here for almost an hour and explained and clarified all these motherfucking cards. And the last thing you saw was me put down this pile. And I am very irritated. But I'm not because it proves my motherfucking point. Let me tell y'all what's going on right here. There is a person who y'all are meant to be with. Y'all are y'all. Let me tell you, this is what I was explaining before I was so rudely interrupted. Found out, found out the damn video wasn't recording. 
I'm sick of these hoes out here playing with energy. These bitches need to sit down. Whether they're male or female. I don't give a fuck. They need to sit down. If they if they don't have no gender, they need to sit down too, goddamn. Because I'm sick of these folks out here trying to manipulate these damn readings and shit. Somebody really, somebody really think they playing with something. Somebody really think they doing something over here. They ain't doing shit. And, and I done sat here and clarified all. Let me tell you something. It's going to happen. Whether it's your career. Whether it's your love life. Whether it's motherfucking children that you want. That you thought you couldn't have. Whatever it is. It's about to go down. Okay. Because what matters. What matters. Is that whatever somebody has been trying to stop, they can't stop it. And I know it's probably irritating that you can't hear what I said in the reading. It did not record. I can't do anything about it. And it was some tea. Boy, the tea was piping hot. The tea is piping hot. And I'm going to do my best to try to go through it and explain it to y'all as best as I can. But guess what? I just need you to know. That there has been an entity. There has been a force. And when I tell y'all it might sound crazy. I am so motherfucking serious right now. Because exactly when I, I was saying that. And I was realizing that these people's faces is together. These people's faces is together. And these people's faces is together. Even these motherfuckers faces is together. I was realizing. That somebody is trying some entity is trying to i don't know what it is trying to break this bond between you and this person that has meant to be together you got the four of wands out here twice you got the lovers out here you got the ace of cups you got the hierophant you got the ten of cups fucking twice two of swords duplicated itself with the ten of cups and two of swords is up here with the ten of cups you got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Death Card. You got the Fool in the World over here. You got motherfucking justice. And you got this dark high priestess, ugly, raggedy hoe bitch. And I don't know who it is. And excuse my language. If you don't like my language, then you can go on. Because it's not the right fit. Okay? But at the end of the day, this is, this is a situation where somebody does not want this to come together. Then you got the Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. Because you got a Seven and a Three. Seven plus Three is Ten. Somebody does not want a cycle to end for you and another person. And if you, like I said, bitch ass hoe, I don't give a fuck about your magic and whatever the fuck you think you doing, hoe. Like I said, I said what the fuck I said. And I actually said that in the earlier part of this reading. I said what I said. I was hearing Mariah Carey. We belong together. And she was talking in her baby voice. And we was talking about all these things. You and another person are meant to come together. You don't see this. I said, what's at the end of the day, the day got to end, goddamn. So basically, whatever this person is doing, at the end of the day, they can't do it forever to stop this from coming together. And it's an entity or a demon or whatever the fuck it is working through all these low vibrational raggedy ass people who have connections between you and this person. And it's like, y'all are on the same stomping ground. Y'all in the same area or y'all have crossed paths several times and don't even goddamn know it because there's an energy that's working so hard for you not to be around this person. And it could even be a friend that you about to meet that can open doors for you and put you in the right rooms and have your name being mentioned in the right spaces and places. And you have not crossed paths with this person yet, but you are about to, cause it's, at the end of the day, the day got to end. And when it's all said and done, everything that's been done is going to be said. So everything that needs to come to the surface is going to come to the goddamn surface. Now, this card came out in reverse. It's the awakening card. It says aware of the real situation, uncovering secrets, making good decisions. You're not aware of it yet, but it's coming up. You got a cheating card that came out. You got the in love card that came out. You got the manipulator card that came out. Now, the manipulator card came up with the cheating card, too. But it was a whole bunch of other shit that's not important. What is important is that you are going to be drawn towards this person. And whoever this person is, there's something going on. And if you were to compare stories with this motherfucker, you're going to realize that y'all was kind of walking the same timeline, just in different places with different faces. Okay. Now we got this single woman card at the bottom. It's something about you being happy. They can go on and kiss my ass because I don't work for free. 
And that's why I be telling y'all, it's not because I'm trying to press y'all. It's not because I want something for free. It's not because, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, wring you dry. I'm asking for help because I need help, goddamn. Because when I say the shit that I say, a lot of times the reason why I don't get views, the reason why I don't have no fucking uh, uh, push on my motherfucking channel is because I be talking some real ass shit. And it be things that people don't want folks to see. It be things that if I if I was to hit a real audience, they really would not want that shit to be done. Because I'm speaking on some real facts. That's the only reason why they've been trying to shut me down since the first goddamn channel. And I'm not trying to be like that. But, but, but when, when I tell you. They've been attacking me for so long and it be shit like this that I be having to go through just to come on here and give y'all a free reading because I want y'all to live y'all best motherfucking life because that's what I feel like I was guided to do. That shit be taxing on me, man. That shit be taxing on me and I be trying hard not to spaz. I be really trying hard not to spaz, but that shit just pissed me off. I sat here and did all this shit and that's why I be, if you can donate to the GoFundMe and if it's not going to break you or put you out, please do so because I'm trying to move and I'm trying to refresh my energy. I'm trying to clean. I done cleansed as much as I fucking could, bro. I done cleansed as much as I fucking could. I'm trying to get to where my ex-husband don't know where the fuck I'm at, so he can't be lurking around. I'm trying to get to where I don't live in a house where I've lived with, with, with my youngest son's dad. I've been living here since I was together with my youngest son's dad, and that nigga wish death on me all the time. I'm just trying to get the fuck out of here so we can cleanse this energy so I can so I can finally be free to do what I need to do. And 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 I'm just letting you know if if this was not suppressed because they I know they're gonna put a monetiz monetization restriction on this video. I know they're not gonna push it because I've been cussing a lot. But it's like when I channel, I can't help it, y'all. I can't help it. It just be coming out, and it's like, listen, this could be a person. This could be a career. This could be some magical inspirational idea that you have. But it's literally been energetic forces trying to keep you away from it but what you do need to know with what which is what i said with this ten of cups and this seven of wands before i was so rudely fucking interrupted you have this barrier like i said with these cards your spirit guides and your protectors have a barrier of protection around you when your back is turned when you don't see what the fuck is going but they, but you know what it's okay that's why I say what I say. If you don't support the channel in any way, if you don't like the videos, if you don't subscribe, if you don't engage with the content in the comments, share, or make any type of monetary donation in any way, shape, or form, I don't fuck with you. This is not your reading, and it will never be. But for those of you who do, I really appreciate you. I want you to know from the deepest depths of my heart and my soul, from, from, from the places in my core, I appreciate you. I really do. And I do this for you. But this is crazy. I, what I was saying as well. Make sure this bitch is still going. Um, what I was saying as well. Is that. There may, this may be somebody from your past. It's like somebody does not want you to know what I said. So I'm trying to remember everything that I said, y'all. And it's hard because I be channeling and I forget and I'm just channeling. This may be some, someone from your past, past life. But it's like, it, it don't matter how far apart they put the two of you. Y'all always come fucking together. And somebody may want to make it seem like you're cheating, you may have been cheating with this person unbeknownst to you. And it could be somebody from your past, but it, it, it's going to have to be up for discernment on your end. If that's the case, what I'm saying is it, it's like, if you were with somebody else and they were with somebody else, it's like whoever you were with or whoever they were with might be saying, Oh, you y'all are cheating. Y'all are cheating. Cause that's my person. No, the fuck it ain't. It ain't whoever this is, is your person and you are their person. 
And y'all don't have any possession over each other. Y'all don't have no belongings towards each other. And it's a stinking ass bitch out here who's competing with you, who claim to be your friend, but be putting you in positions and situations with raggedy ass people. And you're about to meet a new set of friends or a new person in your life that's going to put you in different places and different positions and different spaces that are more in alignment with the royalty that you are. And if you were to sit down and talk to whoever this is that's coming towards you, there, I, I said something about a secret marriage as well. We got the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the High Priestess. There could be a secret wedding ceremony or a secret contract. There's a portal that y'all are walking through together. It could be a portal on an elevator. You're elevating to a higher level. You could be walking to a new office at your job. That's the doorway. That's the portal. You could be walking into a new home. That's the doorway. That's the portal. It could be a telepathic thing. It's with your crown chakra very much so activated. But it definitely could be a secret party or a secret wedding or something that's being offered to you. It could be a secret proposal or something like that. This change has been taking a long time but now it's moving quickly something is moving really fast and it's a situation that is very much so embedded in your life path and your purpose it's very much so embedded because now I'm getting a message with both these six of cups because the six of cups came out to clarify the six of cups. Now I'm getting a message that this is actually something that you've been meant to do for a long time but whoever this raggedy dirty bitch who been trying to take you down for all these eons and lifetimes. They been trying to kill you off before you could do it. And it might be somebody trying to trap a person with a baby. And I told y'all, do you remember all them readings that I said in the, in the past? And in in, if you've been watching me for a long time, all them readings that I was talking about, somebody trying to hide a baby or pin a pregnancy on somebody and they ain't even a daddy. It's a whole bunch of that going on right here. Y'all know I'm mad now. I ain't really mad for real. But at the end of the day, don't fuck with me like that, bitch. I don't even know this hoe. You probably don't even know this hoe. I'm sorry. I'm yelling in y'all's ear. Let me calm down. I just sat here and this shit was good. That's why I'm so mad because it was good too. But I basically told y'all everything it is. Basically, whoever this person is is trying to come in and convince a person. It's like they're trying to come in and convince you or someone else or both of y'all that they're a, a certain way. Like that they have this, this demeanor or, or this way about them that's very mature. And they're trying to convince you and negotiate with you to stay in a situation. No, in this goddamn cycle. I don't care if it's a friend. I don't care if it's your sister. I don't care if it's your brother. I don't care if it's your ex-husband, ex-wife, baby mama, baby daddy. I don't care who it is. If, if this motherfucker been taking you through some real changes or, or, or you pick up on something intuitive that's been going on, go on and kick this bitch to the curb. Tell him kick rocks. What you say? Barefoot with no shoes on fresh out the goddamn bathtub. Kick that bitch. Friends. Birthday. They could have celebrated with you on your birthday, but they were sad. And that's what I picked up too. It's like every time it's a situation that's going good for you, this person be mad about it. I, it was something specific I said too, because I heard it. I heard their voice in my head. And it was like, every time you talk about whatever this is that you're accomplishing, or every time you talk about getting a raise or a promotion, or every time that you, you know, say something good is going on or have a celebration, this person in their mind is telling you, I wish this bitch would shut the fuck up. I heard it clear as day. I heard it clear as day. I don't care who think I'm crazy. I don't give a damn. But they're going to try to make you up. They're going to try to make you feel like they loyal. Somebody loyal is coming towards you. They feel drawn to you. Whatever this is feels natural. What else? That shit pissed me off, bro. I looked up and realized. And you know, sometimes the video will cut off and it'll only be like maybe five minutes that y'all missed. It stopped at 38 minutes. And I've been sitting here for over an hour. It's literally, literally 20 minutes worth of reading that got cut off. Because that's just going to show how much this motherfucker don't want you to know. But guess what? At the end of the day, the day got to end. And when it's all said and done, everything that's done going to be said, bitch. So there. What else? Thank you. Ooh, daughter. New vehicle and expecting. Some of y'all are having a child with somebody. You don't know you about to have this child. 
Also, there could be a new mode of transportation that some of y'all are going to have, but it could be spiritual where you're moving in a new way and you have a new mode of transportation. Some of y'all have a daughter in heaven that is waiting on you to get with this person because they want you to be their mama and they want them to be their daddy or they want you to be their daddy and they want them to be their mama. I'm telling you right now, health concern and bereavement. Some of you may be feeling like you won't be able to have kids. You will, especially if it's a situation where you've been fighting to have kids and you can't have kids. It's going to be a miracle, baby. Some of y'all could have a rainbow baby. What else? Can I get one more card? Ooh, fame. Interesting. Yeah. I also feel like this child wanted to be born already, but they didn't want to be born with the person who you was dealing with before. So they wait until you meet the person that they want you to meet. And that's why y'all are coming together as well. This could even be a situation where it's a business opportunity. Like I said earlier, you got fame right here. Then you got health concern again. So somebody may be worried about, uh, exposure getting attention it's stressing somebody out somebody may be, somebody may not be communicating about a health concern or you may have a health concern about pregnancy or having kids or children or something like that some of y'all may feel like you can't have kids i'm telling you right now it's gonna be something what else what else journey gossip and thief bitch mm -hmm. and i also said something about that too somebody talking behind your back or having some type of of, of negative things to say about you and and in their mind with all that shit older woman and music interesting this person could be older than you some about music could be involved or when you go out with this person listen I, I know these hoes trying to fuck with my shit better sit the fuck down. I know that. You can get mad all you want to. Bitch, bitch, I bet you won't say that shit in person. You better not. You better not. Because I ain't fighting with you. I ain't fighting with you. You're going to be fighting by yourself. I, I don't fight with bitches. I don't fight with hoes. You you gonna come trying to sneak me and get hit by a bus, bitch. That's what that's what it's gonna be. Cause I ain't even gotta lift a finger. What else does Pisces need to know? What what the fuck did I say? Now you now you see why I've been acting. I'm, I ain't acting crazy for no reason. I ain't acting crazy for no goddamn reason. Do you see what the cards say? Let me make sure you can see it. There it go. And this motherfucker been fucking with my reading. Someone has intentions that are not in your best interest. Be watchful of who you are around. Athlete. The situation could involve an athlete and a title card. This could be you. This could just be you training for something, working out, getting yourself together. Or, or just... You know, athletes, whatever, what do they do? Athletes work out, they train, they get better at their craft and they compete. This person is competing with you, but I feel like you can't compete where you don't compare. I don't even remember if that was in the first part, but I said it. And I said it just like, I said, you can't compete where you don't compare, bitch. And I can't remember if the recording caught it or not. But it's something about your title and what you do. What else? Does Pisces need to know? Because I'm going to sit down and eat some motherfucking food after all this bullshit. Wealth. Wealth. Money. Abundance. You may be coming into a lot of money. You may also be encountering someone who is very wealthy. Thank you. That goes back to that motherfucker being, being a friend, but introducing you to broke people. Okay. Mail, look out for important documents in the mail. You may be hearing from someone you haven't heard from in a very long time. So, yeah, it definitely could be a situation. Some of y'all could get some money in the mail. You could be getting mail to check. Broken, something something is broken. This could be a heart, a promise, or a situation. Wow. You could have a brokenhearted person coming towards you. They could be very well off, or this could be you. Or a situation is broken between you and another person. Mm-hmm. I feel like somebody's trying to keep some of your money held hostage because I just saw that ransom card. What else does Pisces need to know? 
morning routine. So it's something about your morning routine. Sometimes y'all get coffee. Sometimes y'all go for a walk. Uh, something about your morning routine may need to change favor during your morning routine. Somebody could ask you for a favor. Friends, this could be involving a friend. Mm. I feel like somebody has a habit of asking you for favors. Mm hmm. What else? Yeah, this favor card came out again, but we have reviewing the past. You may be reviewing the past at this time. A past situation may be coming back to the surface for you to deal with at this time. I'm telling you toxic. A situation could be toxic. Also be careful of what you eat and drink at this time. And then you have favor. Someone could be asking you to do a favor or you could be asking someone to do a favor. If someone's asking you for a favor or they're giving, I'm telling you, somebody's going to give you something. They're going to give you some food or they're going to try to give you some advice or they're going to try to give you some congratulations or support. That shit is fake. It's coming from a deceptive ass place. This person is gossiping about you talking about you and they're going to try to distract you or steal something from you that belongs to you on your journey, whether it's energetic or literal celebrity. This situation could involve a celebrity and sexual nature. Things could be happening that are sexual in nature. This could be someone's sexual nature. Mm. Someone may also be trying to blackmail you about a situation. I picked up on that as well. Cause I was going to say some, I, I had said I was going to say something in the reading, but I wasn't going to say it. Cause I had already said it a bunch of times. Listen, it's coming to a point where you're going to have to be confident and, and secure with whatever the fuck you done did, Pisces. Because you got a lot of enemies of people who are going to be upset at this glow up and this abundance that you're receiving. And they're not going to like the fact that you're receiving it and they're going to want to try to ruin it for you. So they may bring up things from the past to try to take this from you or steal it from you or, or make it not happen for you in some way, shape or form. So you're going to have to be secure with whatever the fuck you did. Yup, I said it. I did it. I said what the fuck I said. And I'm telling you right now, because it's somebody who really wants to try to manipulate people against you or they want to try to take something from you so that you can't have it because they're going to be mad that you are not including them. And I said this too during the reading that this person wants to be able to ride on your shoulders. They want to be able to uh, ride your coattails and hitch a ride from you. They want to bum a ride from you. But bitch, that hoe is too heavy. The bitch is too fat. That the, it, it could be a man. That motherfucker too fat. They cannot hitch a ride from you. They're going to have to catch their own goddamn ride. But see, they're going to be mad when you say that. So everything that they everything that they know about you, they're going to try to take it and turn it on you. And that's why they fake. They may be trying to talk about who you done slept with, the type of things that you do sexually. They may be trying to talk about your partners, your past, why you broke up with people. They may be trying to expose that you cheated on folks. They could be saying a whole lot of shit, but you're going to have to be secure in who the fuck you are. I said what I said, okay? God damn. These whole, listen, I was trying to get more than one reading done today. I was trying to do some work. But, but you know what? It's all right. Because everything happened the way it's supposed to happen. And that's why I asked y'all for what I asked y'all. Because at the end of the day, they go in, goddamn. And if and if you're not supporting the channel in any way, I can't help you. This this shit ain't for you. The blessings that are coming for Pisces are it, it, it whatever blessings that I'm diagnosing or not diagnosing, but you know, for forecasting. I'm the weather bitch. Any of the good weather that's coming in, it's not going to be that for you if you don't support the channel. And I'm not trying to blackmail nobody, make nobody feel bad. Listen, I'm really not. That I, If you appreciate the nuance and understand the nuance of what I'm saying, then I appreciate you. But one thing I'm not going to do no more is help the collective when the collective don't give a fuck about me. I'm only reading for the people who support the channel. Thank you. All right. What's the advice for Pisces when it comes to these messages? And, you know, it might be, it. you know, some of these bitches out here might be able to support the collective without worrying about it because they get, they get pushed forward through the algorithm, you know? Maybe their hands a little lighter color. Maybe they don't have as much melanin. You know what I mean? Even, even if they don't have no melanin, maybe, maybe they just, they like to, you know what I'm saying? They like to do this in your booty hole. They like to blow smoke up your ass. I ain't doing that shit. I'm going to tell you the truth. 
And I'm going to tell you what it is so that you can better your life. I don't blow in booty holes. If you are feeling stuck in any area of your life, whether it is in a relationship, a job, or just a situation, ask yourself, what is stopping me from leaving? Yes, leaving is scary, but sometimes it is the right step to take. Be brave. We are right beside you. I told you your spirit team is doing a perimeter. What else for Pisces when it comes to this situation? Ooh, I need you to get excited again. I need you to remember you're not in this thing alone. I'm working on your challenges. I've already assigned angels to you. So let go and the stress. Wait, so let go of the stress and just trust me. It's typo. Okay. I've got a pretty incredible ending in store. In fact, that's why you need to get excited again because the happy ending I've got coming is going to rock your motherfucking world. I add the motherfucking, okay? It says, try not to dwell on the past too much or spend too much time worrying about the future. All it does is steal your joy and sense of inner peace. Concentrate on the here and now and enjoy every moment for what it is. You are creating new memories. And then last but not least, prioritize self-healing right now. Put your needs above others for once. It's time to focus on you. Self-healing takes time and a lot of self-love. Remember, open wounds don't heal into scars overnight. Take the time you need in order to feel happier and healthier within yourself. There is no rush. Remember that song? No rush. Slow touch. Right, all right. But, uh, it was a Jamaican song or a Caribbean song. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, Pisces, that's what it is. I'm sorry I had to go off like that. You know, I you know, I'll be trying to I'll be trying to change my ways. I'll be trying to be a different bitch. But see, see, that that's that's the teenage. That's the teenage girl, okay, that you just heard. Cause cause when I just don't give a fuck, when I'm tired of, of being patient and, and I done did everything that I was supposed to do and you still fucking and playing with me. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a whole different bitch that you see. All I'm saying is, Pisces, be prepared, be aware. I know you didn't get a lot of the reading, but a majority of what this reading was about is the fact that you don't have time for motherfuckers. And the fact that you separated yourself in a lot of situations and you made it clear that you don't have time to be fucking around with the fuck arounds with these people. Caused folks to have an attitude, and it's also a situation where, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me, somebody else is going through it as well, and pretty much kind of mirroring you with the struggles and the challenges that you guys are facing. But there's gonna be a there's gonna be a united front of spiritual support surrounding you to where you don't have to worry about these situations. I feel like your spirit team is really attacking these motherfuckers who coming at you with this nasty energy. And, and you're going to see the, the united front that is being put up for you. And you're going to see the dual triumph that I feel like you are going to have with another person. And it's going to be something that goes really deep. And once you sit down and actually talk to this person, you're going to be amazed at everything that they said they went through, because it's going to sound like your story. But what I want you to know is that as long as you're being secure in who you are and as long as you try to do your best to look at the positive side, take it day by day because it's not easy. I'll be struggling too, y'all. Just try to look at the bright side of the situation. Try to show up in your life the way that you would want to show up, like the way that you would want to show up if you were at your 110% level. Try to show up like that. Try to be that. Walk around like that with that star energy because obviously it's already been exuding out of you. And obviously that's why motherfuckers are trying so hard to keep you down and to keep you away from this other person who apparently has the same type of star energy. So, all right, the demon just rolled up to pick up the kids. So I'm gonna have to go on ahead and go. But I love y'all. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, put your comments below, brains in the comments if it resonated. Donate to the GoFundMe if you can, y'all, because I'm trying to make sure this motherfucker don't know where I live from now on. And we trying to move. I love y'all. And remember, this is our circle booze. Bye.